Hey friends and once again welcome back to my channel Lotus Geek. This video is all about fixing your Wi-Fi issue in which you get any kind of error like can't connect to this network, Wi-Fi connected but no internet and other issues related to the Wi-Fi. So without wasting time let's go ahead and proceed. First of all head over to your settings menu, choose windows update and if any update is pending in your system make sure you click on the option download now to make sure your windows is up to date. Once you have updated your windows the next option is to disable any third party antivirus such as Avast, Norton, AVG and then try to check if your internet connection or Wi-Fi started working or not. Now the, if the problem is still there in next step right click on your start menu and choose the option device manager over here. In device manager you need to expand your network adapter. Right click on your network adapter at my end it is Intel dual band wireless AC7265. You need to right click on it and choose the option properties. Here click on driver tab and if rollback option is available click on the option rollback driver to update your driver to the previously stable state. If it is not available click on the option update driver. Choose the second option which is browse my computer and again choose the second option which is let me pick from the list of available drivers. From here choose the manufacturer driver at my end it is Intel so I'll choose the Intel one then click on the next button to continue installing the drivers of your network adapter. Once it is completed close it. Now click on the power management tab and this option is check mark uncheck the option allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Close it, close the device manager, go ahead and restart your system and check whether you are still getting the error of Wi-Fi connected no internet or not. Now if the Wi-Fi is still not working let's proceed with the third step. In third step go ahead turn off your system laptop or computer and then unplug the power cable from the router modem and the power source. Make sure you unplug the power cable from router modem and the power source. Wait for at least 1 minute and let it unplug for up to 1 minute. After a period of 1 minute again plug in the device, start the router and then connect your router to your system or your laptop. Sometimes the problem is with the Wi-Fi source that's why I ask you to unplug your router modem and the power source. Once unplugged for 1 minute again connect it to your system and try to check if you are getting the problem of Wi-Fi connected no internet or not. Now if the problem is still there let's proceed with the fourth step. Click on the start menu and type run. In run application type ncpa.cpl and then hit the enter key. Now right click on your device and if it is disabled you will write over get the option of enable, enable it. Now if it is already enabled choose the option properties over here and here you need to disable IPv6 here it is. Uncheck the option and hit the ok button. After doing this don't forget to restart your system to make the things work and then check if your Wi-Fi started to working or not. Now if the problem is still there let's proceed with the next step. Click on the start menu and type cmd. Run cmd as an administrator. Here type few commands one by one. First one is net sh winshock reset. Next command is net sh int ip reset. Third one is ip config space slash renew. Now as it is saying you must restart your computer in order to perform this action. So make sure once you place every command don't forget to restart your system. Once restarted nextly followed with the last command which is ipconfig space slash release. Once it is done don't forget to restart your system and this will you fix out the issue of Wi-Fi connected no internet or can't connect to this network. However if all this method fails the last hope we have is to head over to the settings menu, scroll down and click on the option recovery. 
here click on the option reset pc choose the option keep my files over here now as it is saying resetting will change settings to default it will keep your personal files and reinstall windows and remove all apps and programs yes only the applications that you have installed in your system will be re removed if you choose the option reset else no other file will be deleted so just click on this the reset option to completely reset your pc and this will fix out the issue of your wi-fi which is not connected or can't connect to this network this is all about it friends this is how you will fix the issue of wi-fi connected no internet issue in windows 10 or windows 11. if you are new to this channel I request you to please click on the subscribe button and click on the bell notification icon to receive updates from my channel and keep watching my videos friends.